In this video, I'm going to introduce integration by parts. Now, integration by parts, there is a formula that we are able to use that is in the formula booklet. And it's given by the integral of u dv by dx dx is equal to uv times the integral of v du by dx dx. Now this looks like uh, an absolute mess of letters when you first meet the formula. Okay? What we need to be clear on is that your question will be in this format. So u times dv by dx. There's going to be these two parts, the u and the dv by dx, that we need to identify which is which. So, once you've identified what u is and what dv by dx is, then we can find the remaining parts that are in the right-hand side of the equation. So we can see that there is a v, and if I had dv by dx, I'd be able to integrate to get to v. And I also see that I've got a du by dx, so I'd be able to differentiate u to get to du by dx. So, there are these two pieces that I must identify which is which to start off with. Um, and then I can differentiate the u, integrate the dv by dx, and then substitute those bits into this formula. That is the process of integration by parts. Now, because it's going to be of this format, um, the type of problem that you're looking at would be something like x e to the x, for example. Okay. Now, just because we have the u first and the x first, and the dv by the x second and the e to the x second, doesn't mean that the u is necessarily the x, and the dv by the x is necessarily the e to the x. We must have a way of being able to identify which is going to be which. Okay, because it's not always going to be in that order for us. The order is given by the late law. Okay? So, this works as logarithms, so logs, then algebra, then trig, and then exponentials. Now, what it's telling you is a way of remembering in which order you should pick the u. So, if the integral includes a logarithm, then that should be u. If there are no logarithms, but there's some algebra, so that's counted as being like the x there, or x squared, or something like that, then that comes next. So if there are no logarithms, then the algebra must be considered as u next. If there's no logarithms and no algebra, but there's some trig, then that will come next. And finally, Last but not least is exponentials, okay? Only if all other options have failed will you pick exponentials. Now, the questions that you get, because there's, um, there's not, they're not going to really throw any really difficult ones at you, uh, you'll either get logs and algebra, or algebra and trig, or algebra and exponentials, okay? So you will get a question that includes some algebra. Okay? So that's one of the bits here that's useful to know. So when I'm looking at x e to the x dx, I must pick the x as the u, because there's no logarithms, so I can discount that. So the algebra bit must be x. So that's my x, and the dv by dx is what's left over, that e to the x. So I differentiate u to get 1, and I integrate e to the x to get e to the x. And I now have my four pieces that I need. So the integral of x e to the x is u times v, so u times v, so x e to the x. Take away the integral of v, which is e to the x, 
times by du by dx, which is 1. So e to the x times 1. So this is x e to the x, take away the integral of e to the x, which is just e to the x, and we've got that plus c, that constant of integration on the end. Okay, so this is how integration by parts works, and we're going to see some more examples of it in a minute.